good morning students today we are going to discuss how to compare integers how to arrange the integers in ascending and descending order and how to find out the absolute value of integer so first of all the first topic we are going to discuss that is ordering integers now i am going to explain this one with the help of a number line students we represent the integers on number line we have already discussed on the positive side on the right side of a number line we represent all the positive integers and toward the left side we represent all the negative integers this is negative integers and these are positive integers now students afterwards we have to discuss how to compare integer that's mean how we come to know that the given integer is bigger or smaller for that students we have to remember one thing that's mean all the positive numbers all the positive numbers are greater than all negative numbers okay all the positive integers are greater than negative integers that is first clear thing no need to confuse in that if you get a negative number and a positive number together and you have to compare this two number then you have to remember only one thing the time all the negative numbers are smaller than positive number how for example we have to compare Minus forty-five and positive three. We have to find out here which number is bigger. So, friends, according to the rule, this is the negative forty-five and this is the three. So, all the negative numbers are smaller than positive number. So, here the bigger number is positive three. Now, this part I am going to explain with the help of number line. If we represent the minus forty-five. it should be like this on minus 45 and is here 3 so since whenever a number move towards the right side that mean that number become greater number means its value increase okay if any number move towards the left side from the zero to the negative sign then the number becomes smaller number that's mean the value of number is decrease so if we observe minus 45 is so far from the zero that's mean minus 45 value decrease so that's why minus 45 is smaller than 3 now one more thing that we have to remember as a second part if any number from 0 shift to the right side as soon as it far from the 0 that's mean its value increase and that number will be greater number it's opposite towards the left side if a number far from the 0 that value decrease and the number is a number far from the zero then value decrease so now with one more example if i have to compare minus 5 and minus 3 which is bigger now observe this number on number line minus 3 is here and minus 5 is here which number is far from zero that is minus 5 that's mean minus 5 value is decrease which number is near to zero that is minus 3 so that's mean the minus 3 value is more than minus 5 so here minus 3 is greater than minus 5 okay friends now in this way we have discussed how to order the number now then after we are going to discuss 
एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ इंटीजर स्टूडेंट हेयर द वर्ड एब्सोल्यूट एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू मीन्स वी हैव टू राइट अ नंबर विदाउट साइन दैट्स मीन वेन वी राइट एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ नम एनी नंबर दैट्स मीन वी आर राइटिंग ओनली द न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यू ऑफ दैट नंबर देर इज नो साइन वी कान से दैट इज द पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव सिंबल यूज फॉर द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ ए नंबर इज टू वर्टिकल बार लाइक दिस ओके स्टूडेंट्स अराउंड द नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू ऑफ माइनस टू सो आई ड्रॉ अ टू वर्टिकल बार अराउंड द नंबर एंड वेन एवर आई सॉल्व दिस टू बार्स दैन आई गेट द वैल्यू टू Why? Because absolute value means write the number without sign. So here, this number two is neither positive nor negative. That's mean we this number we get that is neutral number. There is no positive sign, no negative sign. Now the question arises. then how we treat with the positive number same if we have to write the absolute value of 5 5 is a positive integer the answer is 5 but the difference is that students here this number is positive 5 and here only its numerical value that is 5 only so this is the difference between these two number same here here we have written the number negative 2 but here only the numerical value of number that is 2 hope so you understand the absolute value now i am going to explain more example for example we have to write the absolute value of 17 so what will be the value that is 17 only minus 43 yes 43 only 78 yes 78 simple students nothing we have to do only we have to write the number without any sign that is absolute value of given number understood now on behalf of this explanation students we are going to solve our exercise 4.2 two or three part i will explain and the rest part of this question uh, this exercise you have to do question number first In question number first of exercise four point two, what are the successor? That means we have to write the successor of given number. Then given numbers are the first one is minus thirty, and we have to write the successor of minus thirty. Now, students, I am going to explain this one with the help of number line because the number line make you more clear in. Okay. If we represent minus thirty on number line, that might be it will be here. And if here we have to find successor. Successor means plus one to given number. Okay, Swin. Plus one to given number. And according to the number line, if we add. then we move toward the right side if we add any number then we move toward the right side and here we are going to add this one so that's mean we have how how many numbers we are going to add one so one step it moves toward the right side so minus 30 and if one step we move which number will be here minus 29 so what is the successor of minus 30 that is minus 29 understood friends now its second part if we have to show 30 same 
if we have the number 30 we have to write its successor successor means move one part toward the right and after 30 which number will come 31 so the successor of 30 is 31 then another number minus 58 same if I represent minus 58 then one step towards the right side so here will be minus 57 so what is the successor of minus 58 that is minus 57 the another number that is minus 230 same if we move, move towards the right side its successor is minus 229 if the number is negative 999 so one step the next number is negative 998 now move on question number second in question number second we have to compare first minus 38 and minus 20 students if we observe this number on number line minus 20 will be here and minus 20, 38 after so which number is near to 0 that is minus 20 and which number is far from 0 that is minus 38 so already we have discussed if any number near to 0 that is bigger number if any number far from the 0 that is smaller number in case of negative integer okay so here the bigger number is minus 20 now another one minus 500 compared to minus 501 which number near to 0 minus 500 so minus 500 is bigger third part 0 and minus 15 strength 0 always bigger than all the negative numbers so here easily we can say 0 is bigger than minus 15 the last part of this question 4 minus 100 and positive 100 so we know strength all positive numbers are bigger than negative number so clear that 100 is bigger than minus 100 question number 3 in question number 3 we have to arrange all this number in ascending and descending order now the number are 30 minus 25 minus 5 0 48 and minus 40 students if you will explain this question with the help of number line it's very easy to you to arrange this number in ascending or descending order how first draw a number line and represent all the number on number line so first of all 0 after 0 where the 30 will come here then minus 5 yes minus 25 after minus minus 40 yeah same here 30 then after 48 now we have arranged all the numbers how we know very well the all the negative numbers are smaller and all the positive number are bigger so if we start from here we have written the smallest number from out of these number that is minus 40 then it increase in ascending order so to write in ascending order we write number left to right okay so smallest number 40 then after negative 25 
then negative 5, then 0, then 30 and the biggest number is 48. Same, if we have to arrange this number in descending order, then we will write this number right to left. So first we write 48, then 30, 0, minus 5, minus 25 and minus 40. Now we have arranged the given number in ascending and descending both. So the rest part B, C and D of this question you have to solve by yourself. Okay students? Question number 4. Write all negative integers between minus 10 and 5. So students, if you represent minus 10 and 5 on number line 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 minus 9 and minus 10 write all the negative integers so we know students after 0 then all are positive integers and we have to write only the negative integers negative integers are minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 minus 7 minus 8 and minus 9 so we can write from minus 10 to 5 there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 negative integers. And these 9 negative integers are minus 9, minus 8, minus 7, minus 6, minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 and minus 1. Same question number 5. They ask, write all the integers between minus 5 and 8. So minus 5, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. We have to write all the integers between minus 5 and 8. That all the integers are minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are the integers between minus 5 and 8. Okay, students. Now question number 6. In question number 6, write 3 pairs of integers. Okay. Which are equidistant from the point corresponding to minus 7. So first of all we have to represent minus 7 on number line. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, minus 10 and minus 11. So where is minus 7? Minus 7 is here. Okay friends? And then after read the question carefully. Write three pairs of integers which are equidistant. Okay. Then I take one step to the right side and one step to the left side. If I took one step to the right side from minus 7 and one step to the left side. Then we get the, then I get the number minus 8 and minus 6. So I can say here minus 8 and minus 6 are equidistant from 7 because both sides the distance is 1 1 unit. So this side also 1 unit, this side also 1 unit and both are same. In the second if I move from minus 7 2 units to the right side and 2 units to the left side then I will reach a number from left minus 9 and from right minus 5. So same these two numbers also equidistant from minus 7. How? These are two units to the left side and two units to the right side. 
if i move three units to left and three units to right now i will reach a number minus 10 and minus 4 so students here i can write i have a three pairs of number these three pairs are minus 8 and minus 6 minus 9 and minus 5 minus 10 and minus 4 which are equidistant from minus 7 how minus 8 and 6 one unit far from 7 minus 9 and minus 5 three, uh, 2 units minus 10 and minus 4 3 units ok students in question number 7 find the largest and the smallest integer among the following so students whenever you are going to compare the number then the number line is very helpful to you to comparison of the numbers draw the number line and represent all the positive number to the right side of the number line and all the negative number left side of the number line so here 78 235 and 802 okay students i arrange according to the order and which are near to the zero so here near to the zero is first minus 99 then after minus 100 and then after at the last minus 406 now as we already discussed if any number far from zero to the left side that number becomes smaller and if any number move toward the right side of the number line that number become greater so here the smallest number is 406 and the greatest number is 802 understood friends now in next question we have to write the absolute value of given number as already i explained absolute value means we have to write a number a integer without their sign that's mean if the number is negative then we will write only the number no sign with number so i have written all this number in absolute sign positive 65 65 only minus 60 absolute value 60 minus 105 absolute value 105 859 859 minus 1000 that 1000 only 2007 2007 since so I have written here all the absolute value of these given number okay these numbers don't have any sign we can't say that these are positive, these are negative. No. These are only values of the number. 65 means 65 only. No positive, no negative. Same here, 60. That means 60 only. The number value that we have only written. But here we have written as in a form there. Integers with their along with sign. This is the positive 65, negative 60, negative 105, positive 859 negative 1000 and positive 2007 but when we read this side of the number we read this number without sign why because we have taken their absolute value our absolute value provide the number without sign ok students in question number 9 we have to find out the absolute value of given operation the first one is 547 minus 800 given inside the absolute bar so students directly here we can't open this bar first of all we have to solve whatever given inside the absolute value inside they have given that 547 minus 800 if 547 minus 800 we get the difference 253 we get the difference 253 students if we check their values 
which value is bigger 800 and here is 547 so the sign will come negative with the answer it is little bit confusing but whenever you discuss how to add integer and subtract, subtract integer that time it more clear to you if two one positive and one negative number comes together we take their difference that difference means subtraction and subtra subtraction is 253 and whose numerical value is bigger 800 and 800 having sign minus so minus sign will come and their absolute value is 253 now the second part 199 minus 1000 so first of all we have to take their difference if 199 and 1000 subtract then we get minus 801 and their absolute value is 801 now another one is the third part 35 minus 50 plus 12 so 35 plus 12 that's mean 47 and minus 50 if we take the difference of 50 and 47 that is 3 only and it will come negative 3 why because the numerical value of negative number is bigger so minus 3 and their absolute value is only now it's last part of this question that is fourth part 5 multiply by 12 minus 3 multiply by 25 so uh, here we follow the board mass first we solve the multiply 12 5 just 60 minus 25 3 is 75 and their difference is minus 15 and absolute value is 15 only. so since today we have discussed Question number 1, 2, 9 from exercise 4.2 and you have to solve, it's your homework, do question 1, 2, 9 in your notebook, okay? Thank you students.